What's up gamers, this is your boy Boss Mac of BackToGaming.com and for today's video we have the Asus ROG Maximus 9 Hero motherboard and this comes in our series of 200 series motherboards. So this one has the C270X chipset and is probably one of the more mainstream offering from the Asus ROG line. So this is a launch model so this comes out the day once the 200 series is available. So it's a new style. So let's get right onto it. First off, we take a look at the packaging. So this is a new style of package for the uh, ROG motherboard. So as you can see, lighter red, uh, different styling. It doesn't have the old purple blackish stuff that they used to have. So Maximus 9 Hero right there. And going over the back, we have a glamour shot of the product right there. And we can see what this is the first time I'm seeing something like this a USB 3.1 front panel connector. So I think they went ahead and designed hey, we gotta have a new style connector because the old one is really fat and really big. Anyways, we have aura support, so the lights, if you're not familiar, familiar RGB guys, RGB aura, it's the same thing because it's just different name for the lighting supreme fx codec so they have a new implementation for the audio solution that they use in the rog motherboard so supreme fx i think they stopped with the numbering and just call everything supreme fx so right now it's the new supreme fx okay so focus on there so, yeah new supreme fx no more supreme fx one two three four just new every time they come out with something it's new so, and this is one of the recent news that we came out with. We saw a video of Asus teasing a 3D printer support. So they have like special mounts on this motherboard that supports accessories, add-ons that you can put on the motherboard itself just to add style, attachments. Uh, I don't know if they'll be releasing the design or whatever it is they want to do with that, but you can create your own the the designs aren't available yet but you can mount them yourself as long as you have the proper size screws and a 3d printer obviously or have access to it so so the box goes in with the specifications right there hooray for details and we have a coupon for cable mod cables with your purchase of these Asus, Asus motherboards so yeah, hooray for discounts. Anyways, we'll start with unboxing and because the new Asus ROG motherboard, I don't know if you saw the other unboxing we did, but the new Asus ROG motherboards feature this. Like that. Now let's adjust the camera. And do that again. Right there. So it features this really neat flap that when you open it up it just pops out it's really cool so the motherboard is on top of our special bundle right there so we'll take a look at this one later let's go over the bundle that's inside so we have the manual always read your manual boys the discount card we have a coaster yeah, I think it's a coaster. And cable labels with which doesn't say which cable it is. Funny Asus. Funny. And the installation disc. And there's supposed to be more stuff right here. And okay, let's open it up. And there we go. A lot of stuff underneath. And we have the IO shield. Uh Q connector. Q connector is where you attach your front panel headers, makes it easier to see what you're doing right there. It has labels there. Gonna make it easy for you guys. Focus, focus. And right there. There. Anyways, moving on. Yep. Wow. These are plain SATA cables. Just comes in black. Plain SATA cables. Uh, mm -hmm. 
one pair on each pack. So we got two pairs. And we have a. This is uh, an RGB cable extension, extension cable, and the CPU insertion tool. Basically, you mount this on the the socket first before dropping in your CPU. Makes it a whole lot safer. And this is the 3D printing mount. Okay, it's a bunch of screws that you use to connect to the motherboard with whatever you're planning to mount with your 3D print. So we have no experience. I think this is the same thing, just doesn't have the same label. And of course, an SLI bridge, which is the HB HB version, right there. So this is like two space, like one, two, yeah. So let's go and check. Whoa, wait, wait up, wait up. This isn't a design. It's a sticker sheet. So this is the largest sticker sheet I've seen in my entire life from a motherboard. So we have ROG logos right there. So go crazy. Go stick it in your bike and whatever. This is a passport size and this is a credit card size. So go style up your legal documents or whatever. This is a really big sticker sheet. So kudos to Asus for doing something like this. So let's move on to the motherboard. And there we have the Asus Maximus 9 uh, Hero motherboard for the Republic of Gamers series of motherboards for the Intel 200 series chipset. So first let's take a look at the design of what we have right here. So different style once again for the heatsink. So we have like special holes right here. If we look closely it looks like a skull of a T-Rex. So if you're familiar with like paleontology, Dino Crisis, Jurassic Park, the bones of the T-Rex or whatever dinosaur you're into, they kind of look like this, the skulls. I don't know. I'm just I just like dinosaurs, Barney, stuff like that. Anyways, oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. so they ditch the purpley reddish thingy from the older Maximus, the older ROG series. The last generation of motherboards for a uh, totally grayish gunmetal. I think there's a brush gunmetal design. Colors on the heat sink. And then moving on, we have a. Okay, so first off, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is a 10 pace power delivery design motherboard. And for featuring the LGA 1151 socket, supports 6th gen and 7th gen core processors from Intel. This supports uh, DDR4 memory. We have four demo slots right here. And the motherboard does come with uh, two, one, two, three PCIe X16 slots. So you can go with like dual SLI or uh, triple drive fire system on this one. It does support AMD Crossfire and NVIDIA SLI. So going back on top of the motherboard, we have the DIMM slots which support DDR4 memory. A debug readout code right here on the upper right corner. Let's zoom in on there. And we have also have the mem OK button. So if you're having memory problems and compatibility, you can use this one. So going over the top, we have the fan fan headers right here. So this one is the AIO pump. We have the option fan. Uh, also another pump header you can insert in there and the CPU fan itself it's right here then this white header right here is the RGBW connector or just RGB I'm not sure about the specifics of this header but this is where you connect the included RGB extension cable and this is the USB 3.1 front panel header right there so I'm not sure I have seen a board uh, I mean a case that supports this uh, header right here. I have seen some press releases from another brand that has a header for this one, a connector for this one, but right now aside from that one from Pantex, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if it's from Pantex or Silverstone. I'll do check out my sources, probably link in the description. By the way, the full review will be included in the link, so do read up on that. 
Anyways, moving on, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Thank you, Aces, for not including SATA Express anymore. I love you. And we have 6 SATA 3 ports right here. We have for further storage, we have 1 and 2. We have 2 M2 slots which support uh, there, right there. Uh, 2 to 110 size. Mm, size devices well, for the other one it's only up to 80 so if you have longer device you put it right here and then moving on the, the lower part of the motherboard we have the uh, onboard buttons of so power reset safe safe boot right there and the retry button there is also a slow mode so if you're overclocking this drops it down to like minimal 800 megahertz stuff like that so it doesn't crash during boot up there is another rgb header right here and these are your front panel header these are the rog extension cable not sure if this is compatible with the one that with the oc header or something like that well it doesn't say so in the manual and there's your heatsink right there excellent looking heat heatsink a lot of surface area because these has holes in it but it adds to the style, looks good. So yeah, hooray for a compromise. And this is the Supreme FX chip right there. Fingerprint for ya. So this is the new Supreme FX. It doesn't use any, it's not a boosted Realtek uh, chip right now. They're using a different uh, audio solution, I think. And the, the entire shroud right here covers up the division on the PCB or the audio so it has a lights over there so if you have noticed earlier we also have like metal reinforcement for the PCI slot so PCIe slot so I've, I've always commended Asus for sticking to the original design so of not including these metal braces but I think they caved in in a with the other hey everyone's doing metal braces right now why why can't we so there you have it right there and going over to the back the rear io we have the bias reset and then flashback i think or yeah just reset button right there there is a slot right here for a uh, an expansion card like a mini pcie card like Wi-Fi card that they include in your other motherboards, display port, HDMI, USB 2, USB 3, USB 3.1 type A and type C. This is strictly just USB type C, so it doesn't support Thunderbolt Thunderbolt. And this is a uh, LAN header and your audio ports. So there we have it. The Asus Maximus 9 Hero motherboard. So focus up. Focus and there we have it so I hope you guys like this unboxing video and do read our full review this has been boss mag of back to gaming.com if you want more videos like this one don't forget to comment the video like the video and subscribe peace